What's up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadow Gun Legends. In today's video, we talk about perks. A lot of happened lately in Shadow Gun Legends. The best thing that happened in a long time, randomized perks on gear and weapons. Before the last update, it seemed that we had set or limited set of perks that could roll on our gear. And after a while, you keep seeing the same things and it was pretty much the same numbers everywhere. After the last update, it seems like everything you can drop could have any perk or almost any perk, but also have different numbers on the perks. In today's video, we're gonna look at some of these perks and what you should look for. Before we go over the gear, I just wanna say a little bit about the weapons. Legendaries used to have fixed sets of perks and the only way you could have different perks is by getting a different power level. So the lower level legendaries at 245 or 248 lately, they had different perks. But now a 250 legendary, if you drop it twice, could have different perks. The example I have is my OG Moneymaker. This is my old OG that I dropped a long time ago. It had extra fire rate, but it did not have crit damage. A couple days ago, I got a new one in Silver Arena, and that one does not have fire rate, but it has crit damage. So it could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending how you see it. The way I saw it at first, I said, it's awesome that we finally have random perks. So it's not a problem anymore if you drop duplicate legendaries you might have better perks and you might want to use that one some guys see it as a bad thing because they say it's so hard to find a legendary weapon that if you roll bad perks you might not see another one for months i totally agree with that but yakub said on the last mad stream that we might be able to re-roll some perks in the near future so next time you drop a duplicate legendary before you throw it away just look at the perks now let's go over the armor of course on the boots you're gonna be looking for 15 percent crit damage the knockdown and explosion resistance numbers have been boosted a little bit. This is actually a new pair of boots that I dropped recently. The knockdown resistance and explosion resistance are higher than what I had before 0.6. So you can look for 15 crit with double resistance or you can look for 15 crit with double cooldown reduction. You can also ignore the crit damage and go for high resistance. The legs now is one of the most interesting piece of gear that we find after 0.6.1. There's a lot of different set of perks but there's a very good set that I recommend you guys to look for. Look for crit damage, support ammo cap and extra clip size on the primary weapon. So that means if you're using an auto rifle, you can find auto rifle clip on your legs with support ammo and crit. If you use shotguns, you can find extra shotgun clip plus support ammo plus crit damage. That is insane, but the numbers will change. I've seen 11 crit, 12 crit, I've seen 14 crit, and the max seem to be 15% crit damage. So that is an example with 15, 15. 15, 15 means 15 crit, 15 support. And the third perk will vary. This one right here is melee resistance, but this is one of the examples I was talking about. 1515 plus shotgun clip. I'm an AR user, so I will look for 1515, but instead of shotgun, I would look for auto rifle clip. You can also look for SMG clip. The body armor now, the sickest thing ever. We can now drop triple health perks. As you can see, it's the same perk three times, one purple, one blue, one green. So that means the extra health you can get now is bumped up a lot. Maximum health used to be something like 24% on the max level gear. Some people were finding some low level gear with 30 plus HP. But with the new update, it is now possible to drop a body armor with three health percentage perks. This one right here has got 36% but I've seen 39, 42, and I heard 43 today on stream. So you should definitely look for at least 30 plus percent health on your gear for PVP. It's definitely gonna change the game. People will probably no longer be one-shotted by sniper rifles. The gloves is where you'll see the most diversity and is probably the only slot where I would say you might leave the crit damage on the side and try to increase your base damage. So depending on what primary weapon you're using, try to get increased damage because it will increase your base damage and all the crit that you stack on all your gear will multiply that base damage. So it's much better to sacrifice a bit of crit 
to have extra base damage so that right here is eight percent extra damage with assault rifle that is not new it's an old piece of gear from before 0.6 if you play smgs you should try to look for smg damage on your gloves i've seen sniper rifle damage after 0.6 i've seen machine gun damage after 0.6 if you play a lot of arena this is still one of the strong sets extra damage to elites is always good in the arena and this would be the bomb for arena damage to elites and crit damage you sacrifice some base damage on your primary but you got extra damage to elites overall and the extra crit will make some huge numbers the last slot the shoulders the biggest surprise in the update you can roll triple crit or triple loot so that means the legendary shoulders are no longer the best shoulders possible you can roll triple loot and if you get a six percent on the purple one you can go up to 12 percent loot when the invictus shoulders were maxed at 11. if you roll triple crit you can go up to 25 percent extra crit damage and the maximum was 20 on the old shoulders so that will be it for now i'm super excited about the recent change and i asked a question on the last mass stream are random perks here to stay and they say yes it's not a bug we have randomized the loot we have a lot of amazing loot to be found now in arena and hive mind dungeon so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications watch my other videos i'll be back soon take care